how to actually verify your identity on Binance. So it's actually really simple to, to verify your identity. Um, you can find it by going on the homepage, um, going on the navigation bar, clicking on this icon. Um, that's your profile icon here. And then clicking identification. You'll then be directed to the, um, to the identification page, which you can see on the right. Um, and then you just click on verify. It's, it's as simple as that. Now there are three steps to verify in your account. The first step is filling out basic account information. So this is essentially, you know, your first name, your middle name, your last name, your date of birth, your residential address, um, you know, your postal code, all of the things that you would expect from, from registering an account. Um, and then once you've completed that, then it moves into the ID documentation. So like I mentioned before, there are three types of um, documentation that we accept, which is ID card, passport and driver's license. And you're able to choose one of these three options to then upload um, the documentation. Now, once you have uploaded the documentation, the last step, um, which is the selfie or portrait photo. Now, this is um, a way for us to be able to match your face with your identity um, documentation. So um, definitely, if you have a kind of a photo in your um, in your kind of a computer, definitely upload that. If you don't have any, um, then you can take a photo, a live selfie. But essentially, once you've done all of those three, um, then your verification has been um, sent to review. And typically, um, it takes a couple of minutes to a few hours for your verification to be processed. Now, sort of helpful tips and advice. Um, so again, apologies for my, my illustration on the left, but I think um, it's, it's, it's good to illustrate these because obviously some users do have problems with, 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 with their verification status. So, um, you know, one first tip is, you know, take off the photo from a bird's eye view, at 180 degree angle on a white background. So as you can see here, I'm looking pretty much, um, I've got the camera uh, parallel with the, with the documentation and I'm taking it um, as I'm looking down like a, like a bird pretty much. Um, and second is to ensure that the photo is clear and visible without any glares of sunlight. So make sure when you do take the photo that there's no glares, that you actually can read all the lettering within the documentation quite clearly. Uh, this third um, point is actually very important. Provide ID documentation from the country you're living in and make sure that the ID is actually up to date. Um, most of our, some users actually provide you know, documentation from different um, country of residence. Um, please make sure that you are providing documentation from the country you are living in, um, as um, it might it might not be fully processed um, correctly. And then the last is ensure your face is free from obstruction. So make sure you don't wear any glasses. And make sure that you um, your face is quite clear without any hair, um, kind of um, covering your eyes, um, or you know don't wear any hats. So. So essentially, um, those are the good examples, um, some bad examples. I kind of want to go briefly touch on some of the bad examples. So the first example, so you can clearly see that the, the photo is blurred um, and that there is some lettering behind documentation. Now, this wouldn't be accepted. The second example, um, you can actually clearly see the, um, the lettering, but the because the angle of the passport um, is not 180 degree angle, this would actually not be accepted as well. The third example, well, this is pretty self explanatory um, The face is half cut, you know, you can't read um, and you can't see the whole passport. So this would be also uh, rejected. Um, and the third, um, although you can see the passport within the photo, it's 180 degree angle, there's actually a glare. So you actually can't read um, the information on the photo clearly. So all of these examples would fail. Um, and I think it's good to kind of illustrate so that you can better avoid um, and actually manage your verification uh, process uh, really simply. Mm -hmm. So once you've verified your account and it's actually approved, you now have unlocked um, some limits for your account. And what I mean by this is, um, it, you know, for fiat, for, for depositing and withdrawing, you actually unlock about 43,000 uh, pounds per day. 
So that means you can deposit up to £43,000 and you can withdraw up to £43,000 per day. Um, just a small note, um, you actually, we do actually limit um, single transactions to 4,000. So what this means is you can actually only do one transaction of 4,000 every time. So um, what this means is um, essentially, it just means you need to do multiple 4,000 pounds of transactions if you want to you know, deposit more than 4,000 for the day. Um, and to unlock further fiat limits, you need to complete address verification, which I'll kind of touch on in the next slide. Uh, for the cryptocurrencies aspect, you actually have a daily deposit limit of unlimited. So you can actually deposit um, as much as you would like. And with the account verification, you actually um, increase your withdrawal limit to 100 BTC or equivalent. <clears throat> so how to verify your address. So um, this would this would be only be for select users that want to increase their fiat deposit and withdrawal limits to 172,000. Um, you can verify your address by clicking on the verify button below. Um, you can only do this after you complete and successfully uh, pass identity verification uh, previously. So again, some kind of summary of the helpful tips and advice. So if your verification keeps getting rejected, um, you know, the, the main reasons are is that the simplest of glares will um, kind of reject um, the, the documentation or if there's bad lighting or if the angle of the photo is not 180 degrees. Um, these, these, these reasons can often um, cause rejections. So please try again um, submitting your photo using the tips I mentioned uh, previously and hopefully you can actually start to get approved. <clears throat> if you still have issues, um, obviously uh, you need to contact our customer support via live chat. Um, some helpful tips is if you do contact live support, uh, please attach an ID documentation of the passport, driver's license or ID card, and also attach a video recording of yourself holding up the ID documentation. If you do these two, uh, by go, uh, if you do these two first, um, it will help to speed up the process of actually getting your account verified. 